Hey everyone, welcome to another RP tutorial video. In this video, we are going to talk about cognitive automation, which is IQBot. So IQBot is a cognitive automation uh, features which is provided by the automation anywhere. So today we are going to talk about this agenda. What is IQBots? Why do we need IQBots? How IQBots work and the benefits of using IQBots. Apart from this, I will show you the IQBot designer a window so i mean what are the information available in that designer window and how we are going to access okay what are the uh, things we can do by using the iq bot designer okay so uh, let's start with the uh, what is iq bots as you may aware like you know iq bot is a cognitive automation that leverage artificial intelligence and machine learning to learn from human behavior and bring structured data from unstructured data so basically iq bot you know help us on working with unstructured data so let's say you are having different uh, format of the invoices uh, you have a different format of the purchase order which is not possible to work with on the sub -ta a task bot however the same thing we can do it using the iq bot so now moving to the next point uh, uh, that is like why do we need uh, iq bots so you may know task bots are capable of handling you know structured data however iq bot is using machine learning and ai capability to make those unstructured data into structured format right and that we can use for our uh, as per the requirement you know uh, most of the thing is like uh, you know most important thing is like most of the organizations are facing challenges nowadays to work with unstructured data right because you know the in, let's say in case if you are working in an organization so you have to you know uh, work with different vendor or the supplier so for different vendor and supplier the structure of let's say if you are getting the purchase order or if you are raising any invoices so those the structure of invoices and purchase order will vary from vendor to vendor so with the help of iq bots you know we can read those uh, unstructured pdf or the image format or the other digital data right so which is only possible through the iq bots so iq bot can process you know different types of documents like invoices purchase order mortgage applications uh insurance claim form etc etc so now coming to how the iq how does iq bots work so you know once you upload any documents into the iq bot designer which i am going to show you how to upload documents using iq bot designer so as soon as you upload the document into the designer so what it will do is iq bots will use the machine learning and ai features to you know understand the pattern of the data or what are the information available let's say like column details okay whether it is a like table format data all these things you know iq bots can uh, understand and it will create uh, you know, like uh, logic so what are the information available in the particular input which is like you know pdf file or image or etc etc so this is basically it is using uh, like in simple word i can say it is using uh, intelligence automation and uh, you know machine learning to understand the structure of the data then it will uh, help you to make those data in structure now most important benefits of using iq bots right so you may aware like uh, you know iq bot is like very important uh, part of the automation anywhere so you know so many benefits are available using the iq bot so let me i uh, have uh, i'm telling you the some benefits uh, in this particular session like you know iq bots can automate you know beyond the rules and structure it is capable to handle semi structure and unstructured dark data it is capable in working with the electronic documents like pdf image format files email etc etc and you know it can learn from the human behavior and it can you know improve so let's say uh, i can give you one small example let's say you are uh, processing 10 uh, invoices right so in 10 invoices your column may change uh, the position okay so, so what you have to do you have to uh, you know make the bot train like at the time of uploading uh, your documents you have to you'll get the option like you know uh, create training so there you have to you know uh, train your bot so at the time of giving the training 
what will understand from the your behavior let's say you're reading a particular value as uh, invoice date okay in first pdf the value is like invoice date in another pdf let's say the date is like only it is mentioned as date okay in other a pdf it is mentioned as like you know inv do date or some etc etc so at the time of giving the training you have to make bot aware like these are the date types which you may get in other pdfs or upcoming pdfs so bot what it will it will understand from your uh, uh, the way you are uh, giving the training to bot so next time if this type of information will change or it will come in any of the pdf bot will be able to read those of uh, you know column value from the pdf and another thing is like uh, you know like iq bots are capable of working with you know 25 different languages it will help you to reduce your manual effort and it is also helping us to improve you know customer interaction and the experience so most of the organizations started uh, you know uh, using iq bots because the benefit whatever i said that is uh, you know very important for any of the organization right so now let me go to another uh, part which is iq bot designer so currently i'm using automation anywhere community edition you can see here this is the control room of the automation anywhere community edition so you can see here we do have options for uh, cognitive automation which is iq bot so let me click here launch iq bot so it will open iq bot designer window so here you can see here home and running instances okay so basically you know iq bot work in this this format like first you have to upload the data as soon as you upload the data into iq bot portal so it will analyze the data so basically it will understand what type of data you have uploaded so what are the column is available okay then it will do the review then you have to uh, send that a particular bot into the production okay so let me click on get started okay so now you can see here this is the page where we can create the learning instances okay so here you can see the options are available like you have to put the learning instances name description okay you have to select the document types so these are the document types available for the iq bot so currently iq bots is you know capable to work with this type of documents you have to select the language so basically by default so uh, you know once you upload any document into this portal it will automatically understand the language okay so let me create one small program for you and i will explain you how it is working so let me put uh, something like you know i'm putting like my first iq bot so and description also i'm putting the same so okay what i can do i can select the document so let's say I, i have created one small document which is a purchase order so if you want i can show you the, the purchase order as well so you can see here this many information is available in this particular purchase order let me close and okay and now i'm here again in ikebot designer so let me select so that is basically a invoice so let me select the invoice so you can see here language automatically got selected in case if you want to change let's say if if in case if you find like bot is not able to understand the you know input file of the language let's say for pdf so we can go ahead and change so currently by default bot is understanding this but invoice is in english format okay so now you can see here uh other information which is already uh, selected by the bot like the you know common fields like invoice date invoice number these are the fields which bot already have identified right so now what i have to do let me click on create a learning instances as soon as i click here so bot will try to understand the document i can see here this is the machine learning part which bot is using to uh, understand that document So as soon as it will done it will uh, open other iq bot uh, another page where you can see the other uh, information like what are the fields are available in that particular documents right and in case if you want to make any changes in this field you can go ahead and select and make the changes okay so uh, in this particular part you know i am uh, showing you this many information only so if i click on extract result 
so it will uh, download a csv file so currently here like it is asking to make some changes so in my upcoming videos i am going to explain you about uh, this part in more details okay uh, how we are going to select the field how we are going to give the training to bot so it can you know understand uh, the types of pdf or data which is coming so in in upcoming videos i will uh, explain you about this uh, in more details okay so uh, this all from this uh, particular tutorial video in case if you have any questions you can please let me know this is my mail id in case if you want to uh, learn more about rp you can get in touch with me i would be happy to help you one more request guys i would request you to kindly subscribe my channel so you can get the update regarding the rpo video rpo videos which is going to upload in this channel i hope this video will be helpful for you to understand about the iq bots basically this was the first part of the iq bots in second part i am going to explain you how you are going to create your iq bot and the same bot how you are going to use with the automation anywhere uh, you know uh, enterprise client so here uh, we can use uh, the task bot whatever we are creating so in upcoming videos i will explain you how we are going to uh, you know move that bot into production and how we are going to use it so once again guys thank you so much for watching this video